Hey, what's up, SaaS Masters? My name's George, and today we're gonna do a comparison between paste email and burner email. Now, they are different, but in a way, they kind of do the same thing. And paste email can kind of do the burner email thing, but it's kind of more complex and it has more steps to do it. So what I want to do in this video is show you both of them so you understand what the differences are. And I will be focusing more on paste email because I have a full video on burner email. That link will be in the description. And if you guys would like to support me and you want to buy one of these deals, please consider using one of my links because it gives me a small commission and it won't cost you a single cent more. So let's jump over to the dashboard of paste email and burner email right now. All right, let me show you really quickly what the deals are before we jump into the dashboard. And paste email is only $19 for a lifetime deal. And that's why it's kind of a good idea to use it as a burner email. But the main purpose is way different. These are paste email. Now, what does that mean? Well, let's just say I have a lot of things to do. I'm always busy and I can't keep getting emails every single five minutes, 20 minutes, one hour. And I need my focus emails separate from my like newsletters and other things that I want like offers and, and all that good stuff I want it to have it paste I can paste it by having you know what I want everything received at every single day at 5 p.m. or 7 p.m. when I know I'm done from working or maybe one time a week or one time a month and you set all that in paste email so that means you don't clog up all your email with like messages every single time like notifications okay and that's $19. Now there's a way to create burner emails with this again, but it's not the main purpose of paste email. So it's $19 and you get all of this with paste email. Let me go right here. Unlimited email inboxes, unlimited inbound email handling, unlimited digest, full schedule of digest deliveries. Basically you get everything. You can add custom domains, usernames and all of that. They don't limit you in anything of, of that. So it's pretty cool that the deal is only $19 and you get all of that. Now, burner email, on the other hand, is $49, but it's meant to create burner emails. Now, what are burner emails? That burner emails are meant to create emails for something that you might want to sign up. And at the end of the day, you just want to get rid of. You just want to test drive some software out there and some app or maybe send out an email for something really quickly and you want to cancel that email. So with burner email, that's really fast and really easy to create. Now, let's go really quick into burner email. Now you can see here, I created 23 burner addresses, um, blocked emails, forward emails. I have some of them that are active, some are disactivated, and it's super easy to create a burner email with, for example, the Chrome extension that I have right here. So I can view the emails right here, I can copy them, I can deactivate them, and if I go into one of these boxes and I right click, I can generate a burner email just like that, okay? That's the cool part about burner email. Now. Just like that, it created a burner email for me. Should be right here. Oh, I didn't create it here because I'm not in a sign up. Um, let me go into something like, um, geez, let me think of SendGrid. All right, let's go to SendGrid and go to the sign in right here. Wait for that to load. Basically, let's go to the sign up. Uh, let's try this right here. All right, generate one of those. And there we go, it created SendGrid, blah, 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 and at inbox, right? I can add my own custom domains also on burner email, that's available right there. But like I said before, the full video will be in the description. Let's jump over to paste email. Paste email, like I said, is different, but it can be used as a burner email. Now let's just say I, I create this one right here. Let's create a brand new inbox from here. And I can set the username that I've selected. I can add usernames over there, but I can use any one of these. For example, I'll use a testing one. I can set an alias right here if I want to. It's not like obligation, but let's just do test and test, right? And it's giving me an example of how the email is going to look. Test at daily.paste email. I can set daily, weekly, or monthly, and I can select the custom domains that I've added. So I added the custom domain emails.sasmaster.net and I point at my DNS here to paste emails. So I can use this or I can use what they provide, paste emails, whatever you like, it's good, right? You got the layout just to view full or just a summary. You can bypass the first message. Now this could be useful for a sign up. You want to bypass the first message because you want to like say, you know what, this is a verified email address and the rest you paste them as you would, right? So right now set to daily, I'm gonna save this one right here and I can go into my email boxes right here. 
This is the one I created right now. Test. No, it's that one. Yes, that one right there. Test. If I go here to my options for test, I can view the emails. I can edit the settings. So right now, by default, it's daily and it's 12 a.m. But let's just say it's daily and I stop working at 6 and I get home at 8, right? 8 p.m. So I can set it at 8 p.m. That's what I want to receive. Everything that was sent in the day, it's going to be delivered at 8 p.m. daily. Or it could be weekly or monthly. You can create an email, um, a paste email for something that you want daily, another one like weekly, and another one monthly. So for example, um, promotions and all that, you might want it weekly, not daily. So it just depends what you want. The digest emails, recipients. So this one's by default. I can edit that or I can add more recipients if I want. I can set full or summary right here. A description just for this, for example, video testing. In this case, that's my description. And we have some custom rules. Let me go back to edit settings. This one is really, really cool and interesting for paste email. The rules right here, we can add, you can, it's like, it's logic, right? So if this happens, then do this. So for example, I can set this in email box to catch just everything, right? But I can set it to, for example, if from the address or there's something in the subject line. So let's just say if the subject line contains or does not or ends with or equals, you could use any of these depending on what you want to set it for. So if it contains, um, sell, all right. If it's a, if it contains sell on the subject, it's gonna bypass the digest, right? So it's gonna send it directly, or forward it to another email, or just ignore it. If it says sell, just boom, ignore it, or use the daily digest. So you can set these, and it's pretty cool that we have these rules. So if then then that, this it's not available on burner email because, like I said, burner email is just to create emails to get rid of, right? That's the idea of burner email, and you get rid of spam. So basically you understand what paste email is now. Now paste email also has a Chrome extension, which is this one right here. I'll click on it. And here are the email boxes I've created and I can create a new one from here. So we can also use this as a burner email, for example, right? We create it and then we just go and delete it. This doesn't have a shut up option, shut off option like the burner email one has because it's not meant to be used that way, but it can be used, right? So if I create a new email box right here, again, we have the same options as the other one, all of these and the name, for example, I can use the URL right here. So it knows it's paste email. So that helps me identify it just like you saw in burner email where it just kind of grabbed the, the domain. It's doing it right here. Again, we can set the daily, weekly, monthly, and we can use the domains that we have added. We can bypass the first one and save new email box. So there we go, it's added. And we're gonna receive those emails in the paste email. And if we set that to the first email to be like, no, arrive without going through the paste email, it'll arrive quickly. Again, we can also compose right here. This one's really interesting. We can send out emails from this. Um, this is different from burner email. For example, here, we can select any one of the emails that we have. We can select who we wanna send it to, the subject and the body and boom, it's sent out. On burner email, they have in mailbox right here and they don't have, we can't use the custom domain there. They might add it, I'm not sure, but these, for example, I've added myself, but I'm using their domain right here. I can't use the custom domain. Um, they might add that, I'm not sure, but that's the way you would do it there. On paste emails, we have that really, really nice option where we select the email that we want to send from and we have that there. Now, when we go into the in, the inboxes, let me show you one of them. For example, if I grab this one, we have, for example, the total rules that are set for that, the emails processed and the digest recipients. We'll have the emails down here. Now, let's just say, all right, I'm out of work. I said this was gonna be sent every week, but you know what I have nothing to do right now? I'll just deliver digest right now. So if I have emails pending inside of this email that I'm using, this one, then I'm going to receive them right now instead of waiting for that week or month that I set it to. So it's cool to have that information. So it saves you time and you don't get stressed every single time that you receive a notification because you have the emails paced and you know that the emails that you're receiving notifications every time are work emails or important emails. You're going to know that they're not promotions, they're not your weekly digest, they're not your newsletters, and you don't get distracted by any of that. That's the important thing about using paste email. So like I said, good two offers right here, paste email for $19. It can be used as a burner email, but just be aware that you don't have that shut off button on the Chrome extension. It's like you can't just like disable it really quickly. You have to go into a paste email and do everything more manually. 
And burner email, on the other hand, well, it's meant to create burner emails. It's meant for that. It doesn't have paste emails. So as you can see, they are both different, but good products. In my case, I use burner email because I need to create burner emails to sign up, to check out softwares like I'm doing right now. I need to do this for like before I make a video, do some testing and that kind of stuff. Um, on the other hand, paste email is great for people who need to concentrate and receive the emails at a certain time, day or week or month. In my case, I don't get distracted. I don't get too, too many emails and I don't sign up for a lot of newsletters that I would need to paste that email. But if I did, I would find that interesting. And if I want to save some bucks instead of buying the $49 deal from burner email, then I would go for the paste email and I know I, I could get through those options a little bit extra steps that I have to do, but it works, right? So basically those are the two ones that I wanted to show you because there's a little um, misunderstanding with some people like did, didn't know the difference between each one. But I hope this video helped you out at the end of the day. And like I said before, if you consider buying one of these, do help me out by using the link in the description. It won't cost you a single cent more and it helps me out with a small commission to buy these deals, make videos for you guys and give you content that you might need. Again, if you need some other comparisons, some questions you might have, do leave them down here in the comments. Well, thank you for watching. My name is George and this is SaaS Master. I'll see you guys later.